and then welcome guys. Good evening. Welcome to the round of Project 3. Today, the plan is to finally venture forth into Gotha, which I've been told is not the most pleasant of places. Apparently there's loads of undead there, some undead paladins, some kind of demon. Nothing we haven't seen before in Gothic 1 or 2, but um, I haven't faced a demon in this game yet, so that should be interesting. Before we do that, I see our health is a bit low, so maybe we should have a sleep somewhere? Also, there may be a quest or two that I'd like to do beforehand. And then we'll go to Gotha. I want to do to be this I want this to be the last thing that we do in the Midlands. Like the grand finale before venturing forth into the desert. So um, yeah, that's sort of the game plan for today. Let's see what other quests we have. We are currently where are we? Are we in this town? I think we're in Geldon, yeah. I think so. I think this is Geldon. Um, I think we're done here. Ben the Servant needs his shovel. Excuse me? Did I load the lo uh, wrong save or what's going on? Definitely done that before. I'm a bit confused. Hold on. Oh! I seem to have saved have I not saved oh my god uh, 1950 I think this is looks like it's the last save oh god why did I save on save game number two did I, did I do it for any specific reason oh god I'm scared now that was yesterday today's, today's the 28th yesterday was the 27th Let's see. Where are we in this safe game? Okay, I'm here. Was this something I was supposed to be doing yesterday? Hold on. Where are we? Is this Travis? And now I've got the quests back. Oh, I remember. Yesterday, for some reason, the... Um, we didn't see the quests anymore, but instead we saw the merchants of different towns. I have no idea how that happened. But it doesn't seem to be the case anymore, so that's great. Um, okay, ransack the castle of Trellis. We still have this quest here. Destroy the orcs in and around the temple of Trellis. We haven't done that yet either. Oh, okay, so there's a few quests that we have to do here still. Clark needs 50,000 gold coins for the Ashishin. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that. Uh, I want to ransack the castle. Is that possible? Can we ransack the castle? Let's have a quick look and see if we can steal stuff from them. Funny enough, we seem to have the exact same health. But look at these guys. They have the party. A little dancey dance. It's just those two guys, though. There's not even any music. <laughs> just standing back to back dancing. Oh well, let's not judge them. Let's not judge them, guys. Um... So, it said ransack the castle. Is, is this the castle or is all of this? I mean, sort of all of this is considered a castle, no? But these people are still very much awake and alive. So maybe ransacking it is not the greatest idea right now. I mean, they could go to sleep, but I don't think they will actually go to sleep. So maybe we'll wait with this quest until we actually decide to destroy everything here. What we could do is destroy the orc in and around the Temple of Trellis. Karmak's artifact. His magical powers. Karmak the Shaman, is that the guy we saved? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, let's do that and kill the orcs and maybe get the artifact from Karmak as well. Oh, somebody just went live and I got a notification. I didn't know that was um, a thing. Don't do that quest, it will make all orcs hate you and will cancel many active quests, or will it? You mean this one, destroy, destroy the orcs in and around the Temple of Trellis? I thought they wouldn't notice if I killed those. Hello, by the way. Good to see you, Liz. I think you're the first um, of the crew today. If that is the case, then... Um, yes, okay. If that is the case, then I'll wait for that with that for now. Um... Yeah, there were some quests here still. 
that's what you Stone Roots. Oh, we also have this still. Okay. Let's do. Let's have a look at the quests we still have open and do them like one, one, one by one. Um, a packet of wild berries in Silden. Let's do that. Do I have those wild berries already? Oh, okay. Right, let's go to Silden and do that quest. And once we've done that, we can think about um, moving on to Gotha potentially if there's no other quests open. Uh, Silden, here we go. Oh yeah, anyway, Liz, you had a good day? I've had a very quiet day at work, not been doing much. I've been working a bit more on my family tree. Um, nothing too exciting happened there though, no new discoveries unfortunately. Um, yeah, and apart from that I just did the same old thing. Who do I even have to talk to? Was it Stan or something? Stan the fisherman. Stan definitely rings a bell. Who was Stan and where was he? If he's a fisherman, then I expect him to be down here somewhere. Same, just a regular day, yeah. You need some of those every now and then. <laughs> Can't all be wild all the time. Is that Stan? That is Stan. Hello, Stan. How you doing? I have a package here for you. Mm, wild berries from Bozen. Marvelous. I haven't been to see him since the orcs doubled the watch. My thanks to the courier. Here, take this. Thanks. Was that the quest? right now. Come back later. Okay. Enoch, liberate the quest for the perfect ship. The water one was Anak the Rebel. Okay. We don't really want to do any of those. Okara needs more people. Oh, this quest is still open? Oh. I don't know where we would find more people, though. I think we sort of gave up on that quest for now. Stone roots for the Druid Porgon. How many stone roots do... I need 20 stone roots. How many of them do I have? I feel like I probably don't have enough. I've got six stone roots. It did say they grow along rivers, though. So maybe let's see if we can find some more. I mean, we need. Uh, we've got six now. That means we've got forty. We've got to get fourteen more. That's quite a large amount. Let's see if we can find stuff. Oh, we can go underneath here. That's interesting. No stone root here that I can see. I can't even remember what they look like, to be honest. But let's just go along this little river and see if we can find anything. Is that a little... I think that's a little fishing trap there, potentially. Interesting. Very nice little detail. Uh, stone root. Okay, now we know what it looks like. It's sort of bright green. Quite a few of the plants in this game seem to be bright green. It suits me. Makes it a bit easier to spot. Oh my god, I thought this was some kind of undead demon thing, but it's just a lurker. Oh, there's a Belia Shrine. How many learning points do we have? 45. Before we go to Gotha, we should... Hey guys. Oh fuck. Lurkers here as well. Before we go to Gotha, we should invest some of our learning points at least, but I don't know into what yet. Oh damn, how am I so bad? I need to get back into the group of things. This may take a while, we may die here. Which is the natural order of things, to be honest. I shouldn't live for that long. I should die fairly quickly in games, is my opinion. Okay. Cudgel. Lurker. Goblin. Uh, is there anything on this side? Maybe a little bit of health would be good. I just... Invest five more earning points into health. And then we see what we do with the rest of that it. Won't do oh, we're being attacked. But how many? Just by one. Okay, I can deal with one, I think. Wow, how have I gotten so good at this game? <laughs> I don't know how this didn't work early on in the game. Early on in the game, I found goblins so difficult to deal with. There we are. Now they're just a nuisance, basically. Brought me life for Uh, 20 hit points more would be nice. Okay, that's five learning points spent. We still got 40, so that's plenty. I don't think I need anything else. Who am I getting attacked by? Another goblin? What the hell was that? Is that a goblin mage kind of guy? What is going on there? Oh, he's shooting at me. 
What the hell is this guy? I've never seen one of... Goblin Shaman! What the hell? That's the first time I've seen one of those. I didn't know that was a thing. I think that's the first time I fought against a magic user full stop. Never had to deal with uh, magic before in the game. Interesting. Well, luckily he was quite easy to deal with. Luckily his um, protectors were quite easy to dodge. Heal other received, amulet received. I like that you get those little um, notifications on the left hand side to tell you what you picked up because honestly I don't even look at the things that I pick up anymore. I just pick them up. That's what you do when you have unlimited inventory space I guess. Also I don't really know if it's worth it getting... Um, oh what's this back... oh that's part of the town. I don't know if it's worth it getting better armor at, the, armor at this stage. Armor is quite expensive. I don't really know what the difference is between the different armor sets that you can buy, like from either um, oh boy, damn it, from either like the orcs or the mercenaries or the like you know the different factions. If there's one that's better suited to some playstyle and others that are better suited to another, how do I have so many boars following me? <laughs> a boar attacking the town. I hope the people in town are okay. Sorry guys, <laughs> didn't mean to bring a boar into town. You okay? Can you handle a singular boar? Well ah, done! Was that there all? is no honor in this carnage. <laughs> There's no honor in this carnage. What the hell was that? Oh well. Um, unfortunately we didn't find nearly as many stone roots as I thought we were going to. In fact, I think we only found one or two. Damn. Hold on. That's Swamp Weed. Good to know that there's Swamp Weed in this game. Probably picked that up before and just didn't register. More Swamp Weed. Damn it! Okay. In that case, have, let's have another look at what other quests we have. We always. You know, it needs all weapons. It needs like 20 though. Do I have 20 weapon bundles? Probably not. 14, okay. What else do we have? Oh, become champion of the arena and more. Oh no, hold on. Bring Orgosh three king sword plants. Forging. Oh, we can try to do these quests, I think. That should be pretty difficult. Let's teleport there. I probably do have three king swords. Do I? Good evening, Zell. How are you doing? I like that you have a theme of introducing yourself. Well, well, well. Um, we're just doing some quests before we're going to venture forth into Gotha. It'll take a little while longer, but we should get there. Rather sooner than later. Um, what was I looking if I have three King Souls? Uh, if I knew what they looked like, then it would be easier to look. I don't think they're alphabetically either. I have got three King Souls. Okay, let's teleport to, what is this, Faring? Let's teleport to Faring and do that quest. Uh, what was down here? That was actually one of the first places we went to. Um, there was not much going on. I'm on my way to the gym. I got a race today. Nice, man. Not bad. You need to lower down the volume of water I can't hear what you're saying. Um, yeah, I think the game isn't great. Ambient volume. Is that maybe ambient volume? Volume, or what does that count as? Uh, I'm gonna... Lower these two and hope that'll help. Yeah, for some reason the volume in this game is a bit messed up. Now, I think the orc we have to bring them to is probably up here. Name's Urshak. No idea who that is. You violated the law. Pay the court a fine or serve your sentence. Your stolen goods are now forfeit. Thanks, L. I haven't violated the law yet, though. Not today. Hello, good evening, T12. Good to see you. 
We're not quite in Gotha yet, but almost. Who's this? See you later. See you later. Oh, what's this about? Tell me about... Tarok. Tarok is the arena master. The best orc warriors are fighting at the arena. You want to fight there? Then show him you're good enough. How? Okay. The Moras in Tarek's arena have won before, in many I? arenas throughout our realm. He will let you fight once <clears throat> you are good and ready. Ergosh. He's our shaman. He knows the powers of plants. <laughs> Look at the orcs partying he in the background. Want anything to do with you? He doesn't like Moras. Fair enough. How can I approach him? Ask him. He will put you to the test before he'll deal with you at all. Okay, enjoy the game. Maybe we'll come later. All right, I'll see you later, Zell. Maybe. I'm still aligned. We'll see. <laughs> I found at the gym. Is that? Oh, that's a shaman. Here you go. Here are your plants. You have shown that you have courage and are willing to help me. I will trade with you. All right. That was all? Okay. Oh, well, at least there's another quest done. I've got some stuff. Can I now lift the stone, please? Is that possible? Fight with honor. I'm going to relax. Why can't I lift this stone? I don't even seem to be able to select it. Oh, hold on. There it was. For a split second, it was there. Why is this? Oh, there it is. Here, finally. Moras are generally unlikable. That's exactly what I was thinking. That is too heavy for me. Too heavy? How much strength do we need? Maybe we should invest some more in strength. Can he teach us? Would you teach me how to fight? Uh, let's <laughs> go for five more strength. Carry on, Mora. Takes 250 strength. Oh, we've got 241. And we've got enough learning points, so why the hell not? Carry on, Mora. Thanks. Good, Mora. I think the rest of the learning points I may bump into um, archery, because we're using it quite a lot. So we should be strong enough now, hey? If I can select this millstone again, which I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Because it's really tricky for some reason. No! Now this guy's picking it up. Oh. Now we can't get it anymore. Good luck, Mora. Can I convince him to go away somehow? Can I beat him up or something? Will they hate me if I do that? Will everybody attack me? Or can I just attack him? Will they... He doesn't even feel threatened or anything. I don't even seem able to... Hey, watch out! Sorry, it was a mistake. Can I now use the millstone or am I in combat? If we crack down too hard, oh, here we go. <laughs> it's all good. This is like a gym with the single barbell, pretty much, yeah. Strength plus five, here we go. We're the strongest man alive now. Now, there was a quest with this, I think. Forging. Zarkosh. Where and who is Zarkosh? Is that the smith? Is he over here? Or is he partying with the other orcs? He might be partying with the other orcs. If they at least look different from each other, that would help me identify them. That's Karaz. Is he over here somewhere, maybe? Oh, there he is! Of course he's partying. Why the hell wouldn't he be partying? I lifted the stone. I saw you. Good. I will teach you my craft. I don't need you to teach me. I'm just here for the XP. <laughs> okay. Uh, Wolfskins for Gnar. How many does he need? We may have enough. I heard that you want some pelts. He doesn't say. Wasn't Gnar one of the guys downstairs somewhere? He might be the guy in front of the castle, actually. I should have some. Hey, there's another millstone? Really? Where? I didn't see another millstone. Or was it the same one? This is the one I lifted. So if you're referring to this one, then um, it was the same one. <laughs> I can't see another one, so I assume you refer to that one. I mean, there's several whetstones here, which look a lot like... Right, okay. <laughs> oh well. Thanks for letting me know, though. I would have been gutted if there was another one and I missed it. Hello, Gnar. Do you need any more wolf skins? You're a good hunter. We need somebody like you in the castle. Oh. 
What about entering the castle? Let me enter the castle. You all gave me your approval. Go inside. <laughs> we can use someone like you. Apparently, I've, I'm now allowed to go into the castle. Where's Mora's sword? Is that down here somewhere? Ben Sala Lago. Ben Erai. Mora's sword. Okay. Right, do we have any other quests open here that we could do? Destroy the rebel underground. No quests. No quests. No quests. Come to me in theory. Yep. Okay, I think it is now time to go to Gotha. And I think being in Faring is actually a good thing because it looks like this is the closest we can get to it. That being said, um, I would like to spend some more learning points on hunting, I think. And do you guys think we should get better armor or will we be alright with what we have? Uh, I don't know. I really can't tell because why would I be able to tell? I've never done this before. Oh, I actually haven't had a look at our amulets in a long time. Protection against ice, protection against energy. Strength plus five, max endurance. Max mana strength. Which one of these? I really don't know. They don't seem spectacular, any of them, but I think strength and endurance would be good for now. Okay, let's see if we can find a teacher who teaches us archery. I guess one of the hunters might be able to teach us that. And then let's go sleep and then go to Gotha. Good armor cost of fortune, so think carefully carefully before buying one. Yeah, that's that's why I'm asking you guys. I mean, so far we've not encountered anything that I couldn't handle. So don't know. How much money do we have? We've got sixty five thousand gold. And I think that's quite a lot that I could still sell. Because I haven't really sold anything except for weapons in the game so far. Sure, why not? Oh. We need to pay him to learn from him? What the hell? I'm gonna relax. Is there another teacher here? Wasn't there multiple hunters here? What about you? Tom. We can talk later. Okay, let's just give this guy 50 gold then. It's not the end of the world. Where's he gone? Wilson. Wilson! Here's your gold. I want to Do you have the gold? Yep. Here. Alright. Cheers. Teach me something about hunting. Teach me! Okay, so what exactly... I have to have a look at the skills first. Hunting skill 152. Archer, the hero's a good archer. Okay, it doesn't really say what it does. But maybe it would make sense to increase that as well? Teach me. But how can I become a master marksman? What does that even do? Master marksman... What is master marksman? Orc Hunter, Master Archer... Oh, it's not even in here? I don't understand. Is it supposed to be Master Archer, probably? But that's the next step. I was saving 150k for the heaviest armor, and then I found out it's reputation locked. Oh, damn. What is the heaviest armor? Is that an Orc armor, or is it... Uh, yeah, I have no idea. Uh, teach me something about hunting. Te yeah, let's improve our hunting. That's the way. That's the way, aha. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> and increase our bow skill? I want to improve my skill with the bow. You have to be fast, but <clears throat> you also have to remain calm. Right. You need a steady hand and a good eye. Okay. Otherwise, you're just wasting your arrows. Okie dokie. I've got five learning points left, and I'm going to leave them where they are for now. Always nice to have some left. In case we find out that we are way too weak in some area. I mean, five is not that much, but I'm, f I'm feeling good about what we've done with the learning points we have. So let's see if we can find a bed, rest, and then make our way to Gotha. I'm going to try it without better armor. And if we fail, I'm going to do a save right here. If we fail, then um, we can just come back and buy some better armor. And spill the uh, spill? Use those last five yeah. skill points. Cool. Now, how do we get to Gotha from here? I hope we can get to Gotha from here. It seems to be the closest town to Gotha. So... I am interested to see. Is there gonna be any signs pointing? I mean, there's only one road here. Okay, I think that it looks like there is a road towards Gotha. If we follow this road to the... to over here, maybe? Oh, here we go, the soundtrack's back. Oh, there's a... Ah, oh, what's going on here? 
Yeah, this is the way. Okay, let's see how much better we're with the bow now. Okay, that doesn't do that much damage. No, I thought he was going to go further to the other side. He's moving in a really glitchy way. Cool. That's the Ripper Beast did. Still haven't died yet. Wow, I just pushed that guy away. This bridge is actually quite high. The water looks pretty down there. This game does look pretty for its age, I have to say. I just wish it was performing a bit better on my laptop. It is strange though, because my GPU doesn't use all its potential somehow. It's like at 40% and then it's just like, nah, that's enough. I'm not going to go more than that for this game. That's a bit strange. If it was using 100% of its power, then it would be running this game pretty easily, but for some reason it doesn't. Rip Ripper, hello, Tuplex, how are you doing? Good to see you. Better bow skill means you need less time to recharge the bow to do max damage. Oh, okay. That is actually pretty good. That is pretty good. I haven't noticed it, but um, I'll take your word for it. Chest! What do we have in here? I have no idea how many lockpicks we've got left. I feel like it's been a while since we stocked up. Oh, there's an arrow in midair somehow. Oh well. I see it's not lost. How many enemies are there on this road, man? How many snappers are there? I would prefer not to lose any health before we get there, but we can always eat stuff. Speaking of eating, I don't think I've cooked anything for us to eat. We're out of stew, unfortunately. I don't even know if I've got a recipe for making more stew would be good. Can I pull one of you guys, please? Maybe two? Oh, they're both... No. What's wrong with them? I'm just gonna shoot them. I don't have pay... Oh, maybe... We could use one of these animal spells, but they're not that strong. I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm sure I can handle three at once. How did this not hit him? It literally went through him. What the hell? <laughs> I'm such a bad shot. What? It's getting ridiculous. Huh? Surely... Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought the game was... Okay, this is going a bit strange. I'm not hitting anything at the moment somehow. Maybe this one is bugged. Sure. I'm sure it's bugged. It's definitely not my fault and my horrible skill at aiming. Which is to blame for not hitting any enemies. Okay, it didn't go as smoothly as I hoped it was going to go, but it's it's good enough. It's good enough. And they're all wriggling now. I love the physics of this. Oh god, this guy is literally having a spasm. He's okay now, don't worry. Don't worry, he's at peace. With that ugly pot on your noggin, you should be able to cook stew easily. Are you talking about my beautiful paladin helmet? Or are you talking about my headphones? For a second, I wasn't sure when I first read that if you were talking about me in real life, and I was like, w what's wrong with my head? What's wrong with my head? But uh, I think you're referring to the helmet. I really hope you do, because otherwise my self-confidence has taken a major hit just there. <laughs> we may have to turn the camera off because Tuplex is um, uh, insulted by my appearance. That's fair enough. I mean, I feel that way every morning I look into the mirror, so... Not surprising that a lot of people feel the same way. Well, <laughs> see? I knew that's what you were talking about. snap -roonie! Now, see? This is how the spies are supposed to go. No damage taken. There's a hut straight ahead. I know we're on our way to Gotha. Oh, hold on. Is this part of Gotha, actually? Or is that Gotha up here? Oh... Okay, I think this... Ah! Dinosaur! If you don't hurt me, I don't hurt you. Hello, marksman. Kill Robo to wear his crown instead. Um, I mean, maybe we will eventually. I've not really made a firm decision on which side to join yet, even though I've been helping the rebels way more than the orcs. So... Um... Oh, fuck. 
How many of these things are here? These wolf packs are crazy. You have them around Ardea as well. And all over the place. And wolves, I think, are the most difficult enemy in the game. Oh, goodness! Liz, that scared the crap out of me. Oh, orcs? Are they hostile or... Are they... What's going on here? Are they guarding Gotha? Are they making sure nothing comes out of it? What is going on here? Warrior, warrior. Is there anybody we can talk to? I need some peace and quiet. <laughs> Fair enough. I know that feeling. You can learn the exact same things and you get the exact same armor with the orcs and rebels, okay? These are orcs, in fact. I do know that, but let's be honest, they're just black wolves. <laughs> the orcs in Gothic 2 were so strong. The decision doesn't matter, only decide on what faction you like. Yeah, I mean, I, I would have done it anyway. So far, I'm leaning towards the rebels. Always be firm, that's what I say. Okay. Um, but maybe something or someone is going to change my mind. Can you play the game without actually conquering any any town? Is that a possibility? Dangerous place for a Mora. Is it? Why? The castle up there is full of undead Mora. So I heard. You are out of here. Okay. Who's in charge here? Patros is in the house with the tall tower over there. So it must be. Gothic 3 where you get murdered at level 30 by a wolf. It can happen. Has happened to me. Will you trade with me? Am I even gold? Why not? Do I even have Am I even level 30 yet? Oh he's got lockpicks, cool. But he's got armor. So if you want it Wow, this one's costing I think all mercenary armor seems to be better than the rebel armor, no? Uh, only important skill you can learn after you decide it is automatic health regen, else you can take all the time you want. And yes, you can finish the game without entering any town. It's not main quest. Okay, interesting. I assume this is like the other gothic games is where you, after you finish the main quest, the game's over. It's not like in Skyrim or in Witcher where you can then continue doing stuff. Oh, the only people that can teach you mana regen is assassins. Okay, we're not a mage, so that doesn't matter to us at all. We don't need anything else from him. What can I sell him? Oh, I still meant to sharpen this sword, because I, I think it would be better than our current sword, actually. A Shishin sword, I don't need. I don't think, anyway. You can have that. Bye-bye. Is anybody else here we can talk to? Didn't he tell us about somebody who's in charge here, apparently? So yeah, these orcs are definitely guarding the, the, the town. Making sure no undead escape. Scout, scout. The undead will probably overrun them. Well, I don't know. Are these important fellas? Probably not. No, just random warriors. Okay. No, that's just a scout. <clears throat> yes, with the alternative balancing, it is better, but also more expensive. Okay. You should hey, you! Why are you running around here free, Mora? Talk, or I'll have <coughs> your hide! Uh. I'm supposed to support you, I guess? I'm supposed to support you. Who sent a weakling like you to this accursed place as support? Don't try to fool me, Mora, or I'll put you in my cell with the other prisoner. Not a paladin? You should always buy the ancient knowledge tablets, they're like dear gold and it can't hurt to have them. Okay, that's good to know. I'll do that from now on then. <laughs> I'll show you which one of us is the weakling. What are you doing here? I am the leader of this outpost of Gotha, and you will kindly treat me with respect, weakling. I think we have to beat him up, eh? Outpost? What are you guarding <coughs> here? Gotha and its castle of miserable Mora fighters called themselves paladins. Once so proud, now they are damned to eternal life and wander through the remains of their buildings in Gotha. Ha! What actually happened? Oh yeah, we can ask that. I think imagine you just talked to her two of them. Okay, let's uh, try to remember that and buy him off him. What happened to Gotha? You really have no idea of what's going on here, do you? Was it Xardas? Gotha was the stronghold of the paladins in the war. We used everything we had, but we just couldn't defeat them. Hmm. They dug themselves into their castle like ticks. Only when we called Beliar himself for help were we able to put an end to their arrogance. The demon of destruction swept through its streets and damned them all to living death. Okay, so it wasn't Gardas directly, at least. 
If a demon rules the city, why are you guarding it then? That's probably too hard for your little <laughs> bird brain to figure out, isn't it? We are here to contain the power of the demon. Zardas, the bearer of the power of Beliar, assigned us to this. What do you think would happen if the beast swept across the land, huh? Isn't it interesting that the orcs hate the humans but follow a human? Learning fireball or ice lands for 50 ancient knowledge is useful even if you have no interest in becoming a mage. It's a good thing to initiate a fight and else your mana is completely useless. So basically good resource management. You can easily learn 50 by bookshelves and tablets. Okay, good to know. Uh, what do you know about Zardis? <clears throat> even here, I can feel his power. Really? Although he is far away. And where exactly is he staying? We already he know built this. a tower on the icy slopes of the eastern mountains. I wish you would get some more diverse answers about Xarda, some more backstory from the different guys. Some of them tell you unique things, and others just tell you the same thing, that he's got a tower in Nortmar. What was the prisoner's crime? The man is a rebel. Of course. He will be executed when the time is ripe, with many Moras watching. Uh, hold on, let's do a quick save before we say the other things. What's in here? Are there any weapon bundles, by the way? Oh. Hold on, is that Gorn? Oh, Gorn, what have you gotten yourself into, man? There you are, at last. Get me out of here, damn it. I'll try. Gorn, what have you been up to this time? I tried to find the teleporter stone to the capital Vengard in Gotha. But oh. unfortunately, it's teeming with skeletons and zombies up there. They're led by a pretty nasty demon. Well, and while we were fleeing those monsters, the orcs got their hands on me. The rest of the rebel troop didn't make it. Damn. There's also a skill called fast learning where you get plus one learn plus one learning point for each level up. Oh, that would have been pretty useful at the beginning of the game, I reckon. Since when have you been afraid of the undead? Gotha is the likeness of hell. You will tremble too. Once that demon is after you, believe me. I'm sure we'll be fine. Why would you go and attack a city if you know it's haunted by such a terrible demon? The rebels gave me this divine artifact. You see? Some idiot talked me into believing that it makes you invincible. Uh. Forget it. The demon was still way too strong for me. That does sound interesting though. Where's the Divine Artifact now? Ah, I dropped it when I was fighting the demon in Gotha. That monster must have taken the artifact with him. Right, now the demon's got an artifact. Why would you want a teleporter stone? The rebels of Okara want to get to the king's castle. They say there's a teleporter stone for the capital in Gotha. I remember when I started the game, I only learned ancient knowledge, so I got that skill right away and was completely OP. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, but it needs 100 points in ancient lore, if I remember correctly. Oh, no idea how much I have. Probably not that much, hey? You're working for the rebels? We knew Our this. Our friend Lee still has a bone to pick with the king, as you know. Oh, yes. He sent me to find a way to get to the king. The rebels in Okara seem to be the best starting point to achieve this. Have we? Yeah, have... we haven't met Lee yet, have we? Where is Lee now? He's running around somewhere in the icy wastes of Nordmar, beating <laughs> up orcs and stuff. Nice, no, just typically things. How can I get you out of here? You know how this works. Either you take on the entire orc camp, mm. or you pay them my ransom. I would rather try and fight the demon in Gotha again than slowly rot in here. I see. Maybe we can get him to help us with the demon if we can get him out. Uh... Is that really the only two ways we can free him? How much do I have to pay you <clears throat> to release the prisoner? You must be out of your mind, Mora, to think I can be bribed like that. It would take a whole lot of gold for me to abandon my principles. How much? How much? Ha! Huh. More than <laughs> you can afford. Two thousand gold coins. That's nothing. I'll first beat you up, though, just for the fun of it. I'll show you which one of us is a weakling. Well, well, will you? Just wait. It won't be long before you're lying in the muck, Mora. No one beats me, Mora. No! No! Oh, why am I so bad? No! No! Ah. Okay. Get in there. Yeah! No! 
damn. I did get a bit greedy there. Should be good now though. Best success, defeat Potros. Strength plus one. Nice. Beat him up. I have beat him up. Let's see. Maybe we can get him to release Gorn for free now. Maybe we can get it cheaper or something. Or maybe it's done nothing at all. Maybe it's made it more expensive actually. That's also a possibility. That would be quite interesting if that was actually the case. Can I sit on this throne? Oh yeah, I can. <laughs> Come on. Get up. He's just looking at me now. How do you feel, man? All right, you win. What do you want? Release the prisoner. Here Over we... my dead body, Mora. Ah, oh, damn. So we do have to pay him. Ah, uh, that's annoying. Does he have lockpicks? No. So we do have to pay him unless we kill everybody here. Um, if Gorn can help us with the demon, that may be worth it. I don't know if I want to kill everybody here because that may, you know, accidentally start the rebellion or something. I don't know. Maybe this counts as a whole thing. Oh, we haven't been up here yet. Maybe, maybe we can free him from up here. I think that's highly unlikely, but you never know. At least we should have a nice view from up here. Oh, hey guys, scout, scout. I thought that Gotha was going to be scarier. Well, we're not in there yet, but it just looks like a normal kind of town castle thing, you know? I thought it was going to be dark and with cobwebs and stuff, but I guess we're not in yet. We're not in yet. We'll see how things develop. Um, okay, I've done a hard save here, so I'm just going to pay him for now. Here, take the gold. Release the prisoner. You would give me that much gold for a dirty rebel, Mora? <sighs> All right, take him. But then the two of you get out of here and don't come back. Is that clear? Crystal. Um, now, if he doesn't help us with um, this place, then I'll just load. You're free now. And we free him <laughs> by killing everybody Thanks, later. Friend. I knew I could count on you. I like Gorn. Oh, okay, so he, he does help us, so... Yeah, let's just bring him along Let's then. kill this demon in Gotha. I'm really not too keen on going back in there. Uh, but what the heck? Who wants to live forever anyway? <laughs> That's the right attitude, Gorn. Gotha it is then. All right, follow me. I know the way. Oh, damn, our health is quite... Oh, I don't need health. What do I need health for, eh? Who needs health? Are there even any beds here? I don't think there's any beds here. Where do they even sleep, man? Maybe just on the floor. Okay, let's <laughs> give this a go. Oh, I can see a little zombie in the distance. There's multiple. Go on, watch out. You get them, Gorn. I'll just... Oh. Okay, we got the attention of a little skelly boy. Two little skelly boys. Why would you change target in mid-swing? Okay, this is not going well. We're going to die. We're dead. And here we go. The first death of the stream. 43 minutes. That's not too bad. Uh, maybe we should have some food or something. Maybe a potion before charging in there with literally 10% health. Maybe that'd be a good idea. You get him, Gorn. I'll be right behind you. Right, what do we have here? Some porridge. Why does porridge only get plus four? Bread. I think you I'll just take a potion, eh? Right? You handle them, Gorn. I'll, I'm right here. Don't worry. Oh, damn. Why are they still attacking Gorn, not me? Go on, do some damage, please. Oh, another zombie. They're all ugly. I also expected Gotha to be more of a dungeon, but I guess... Where are you going, Gorn? I should stop... How am I so bad? Well, zombies are just good, and I didn't realize. Fuck. Two deaths in like a minute. Okay, don't worry, I'm gonna take this seriously from now on. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna activate the, the serious mode. 
maybe shooting them first is a good idea or something? Why am I so close to my character? You ask for it. Why am I so close and so zoomed in? I think it's just the angle. Well, if that was a better shot, then this might be a viable strategy. You just get and go on. You just do your thing. I'll support from here. Oh no. We got a we got a visitor. Let's see if I can hit his head. There we go, right in the head. How do you like that zombie? Oh, one of those yeah, me oh me we could dirt. actually just have them help us, no? Yeah. You get in there. Okay, cool. We got the help of the orcs now. I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier. Oh, now I'm locked onto the orcs now. Don't steal the kill. Where's Gorn? Oh, Gorn's up there. Still locked onto the orcs. Okay. I successfully stole two kills from them so far. Well done. Okay, Gorn actually killed somebody. Well done, guys. That was a team effort, and I got all the XP for it. As it should be. I'm the main character, so... You guys don't need XP. Look at this guy with all those arrows in him. Two in his head. Three in his head, actually. Wow, we? I'm such a good shot. Gorn, what are you doing? Why do you always engage enemies without me? You're getting yourself killed if you continue like this. Stay down! I'm shooting! Providing cover fire! Can I...? Gorn's grunts. Okay, let's get in there with a sword. If I could actually hit my enemies, that'd be great. Here we go. Nice one. Ba -da -ba. There. Who even so hit me? You, filthy beast. Go on, wait. We gotta, we gotta clear out these buildings. Okay, you deal with that zombie. I gotta loot stuff. I've got my priorities. Anybody home? Nope. So there's this kind of stealing if I take stuff from here. Surely not. I wonder if people are going to come back here once we cleaned out the place. That'd be interesting. I don't see why not. I don't see why there wouldn't be a mechanic, seeing as if you take over other towns, then oh, I can hear something. Who's attacking me and from where? Oh, skeleton boy. Can I take on a single skeleton? Probably. This isn't Witcher? Ah, oh, okay. I thought it was for a second there. How's Gorn doing up there? Is he doing okay? I'm still busy looting. I'm sorry, Gorn. You gotta, you gotta stick it out for a little longer. I'll be right with you. Just uh, hold on okay. a second. Okay. Two lockpicks, nice. How are you doing up there? Right. Okay, I can potentially help him now, I guess. Don't worry, I'll save the day. There. So much for you, filthy. He barely beast. lost any health, which is good. Oh, here's a campfire. Can I cook stuff here? I uh, did hear something draw their weapon. So maybe we've got something incoming. Is that 145 or what? 147. That's insane. Let's cook 50. You asked for it. Just in case somebody wants some ridiculous amount of money, uh, amount of meat from us, like that one guy who wanted 50 haunches? Or was it more? By the it? gods, there is a psychopath on the loose! Not during battle? Who am I fighting? It's Gorn who's fighting. Ah, oh, no, that's a skeleton. There's a psychopath on the loose, it's Gorn. Look at him. He's just killing innocent skeletons. What a crazy man. Calm down. You could hurt somebody. <laughs> I love it when their heads blow off like that. It's so funny. Am I still in combat? No. Now I can open the chest. Don't worry about Gorn, he'll be fine. He barely takes any damage from these guys. I don't think he does a lot of damage, but a little bit. An arrow? Oh, that's one of the ones I must have shot up there. Okay, before we go up there to the left where Gorn is, I want to check out this area down here. See if there's any more loot. As we're here. And then we can move on to that cave we just saw in the side of the mountain. Loot that as well. 
And then we can follow Gorn and kill that demon. Shouldn't be too difficult, eh? It's just a demon. Demons in Gothic 2 were quite strong, actually. I don't think they were that strong in Gothic 1. I wonder if they're gonna look the same. <laughs> He's still fighting. He'll be alright. Oh, there's a skeleton. Um, do I actually do damage to them with an arrow? I'm not sure. Hold on, did that not hit? Am I just a terrible shot or what? Does it... I feel... No, that doesn't interest him. Oh, okay, I did actually hit every single time. He just didn't care. Oh, God, there's a lot of them down here. Oh, damn. Go on. <laughs> I know I wasn't helping you, but I may need your help now. You don't do damage with a normal arrow? Okay. That's not good. Well, I'm glad that I skilled bow before we came here. I can't believe he's still fighting that one skeleton. You can't damage them with bow, only crossbow. Okay. Da, 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 da. I'm just gonna shoot guys. Who cares? Oh, how did that, what the hell? I'm gonna lure them over to Gorn and Gorn's gonna kill them all, I'm sure. Okay, we might be in trouble. Okay, retreat. Retreat, please. <coughs> this is an ordered retreat. This is not full out flight. <coughs> We're gonna win this. Just watch. Uh, if I don't get hit many more times, then we're gonna win this. Oh damn. Okay, it's on now, guys. This is Dark Souls, basically. Ah! Here we go. Oh, go on. How about you come in here and help? Is that an idea? How quickly does this actually heal us when I eat food? Does that take ages? Oh. <laughs> Nice one. <laughs> Didn't see that one. You need fire arrows or headbutt arrows? I do have those actually, I think. Just don't know how many of them I have. Um, Hold on. Actually, maybe let's put them in the taskbar because they're actually not too bad at healing us. Um, I've got seven explosives. 115? Okay, I actually do have a fair number of them. So, if I wanted to, we could use those instead. Oh, what's attacking? Zombie, of course. Can shoot down with the normal arrows, I'm pretty sure. But he's still got low health as well. How am I such a bad shot? He's gonna shoot this guy as well. I love how they're slowly walking backwards. What a shot. But. Oh, I was anticipating that he was going to move further, not just stand there like an idiot. I guess I don't have brains anymore, so I can't really fault them, can I? Okay. The other one we should be able to kill before he reaches us as well. Here we go. Was that it? Was that all the undead in here? Oh, this was sort of a graveyard. So that's why there's so many undead here. That makes sense all of a sudden. Okay. I hope Gorn's still waiting for us. Maybe he's gone and killed the demon by himself. Can Gorn kill the demon by himself? Can Gorn die? It's another interesting. That won't do anything. Who's attacking me? I can't even see anything. Hello? What's happening? Is that somebody from upstairs, maybe? Okay. Gone now. Oh, is there... Oh, I thought this was it. But apparently there's a, a tunnel back there to somewhere else. Come on, man. Just open the stupid chest. Can't be that difficult. <laughs> the music should be scarier down here. I just heard something weird. Was that the demon by any chance? Oh, combat music? Oh, there's another tunnel here. Maybe let's get our weapon ready. Just in case something's going to jump out at us. Where the hell am I even? Okay, there's nothing here. 
I'm really scared that something's going to jump out at us now. Okay, combat music always starts when I go over here, so maybe there's something down here? Oh, hello! Mr. Zombie! And a skeleton. Ooh. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Damn. Oh, Gordon! How... Why do you always lock onto the wrong person? <laughs> oh, stop doing your stupid quick attacks. I'm the only one who's allowed to do quick attacks. Oh, I don't have any stamina. That might be a problem. There's not much space to maneuver here, either. Okay, let's see if we can run around him. That seems to have worked. Oh. Zombies are actually quite strong, man. I mean, they're better in their attack patterns as than um, other enemies have. have. I faced with a shovel in your inventory. You can't sometimes. You can't sometimes dig up. Oh, you can dig up treasure. Okay. I didn't know that was a thing. Finally, from specific graves or just from. Random graves. And how do I know which ones? And what's that music? That do anything. Why is there enemies? I'm pretty sure I killed everything, everyone. Um, how do I know which graves I can dig up? Just like in Risen. Oh, okay. So. Oh. Oh, there's a chest here that I missed. Um. So, is there like a different texture on the ground as well, like in Risen? Or is that not a thing? I hate that the combat music keeps playing every time I'm here. There's no enemies here anymore. Pretty sure that was it. Oh, hold on. Another skeleton, which is a bit stuck. Oh, we can't actually use it. Now we got rid of the torture. Well, oh, there's a teleporter stone here. Thank God I came down here. Stop blocking. Blocking is for losers, like me. Okay, here he goes. Can't see a thing. Where's that shield gone? I don't care. What I do care about is this teleporter stone. Found it that takes it to the king! Oh my god, we can go to the king now? Should we go to the king? Hmm. Not doing. No, I'm not hmm. in a battle. Do anything. It's not even combat music. Oh, annoying. Oh well, just I guess we we'll just leave that chest in. Hold on. Oh, that must be someone above us. Hey, I keep clicking to see if I can dig something up, but it doesn't look like it so far. Okay, let's just go to go on. Or Gone? Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Why is the demon here? And where's Gone? Maybe use a spell to unlock it? I'm not too fussed about it. By the gods! There is a psychopath on the loose! I hope Gorn's not dead. That'd be tragic. He killed the skeleton. Last time I checked, he was next to us. I think I can hear him. I unfortunately can't help him right now, though. We've got to do this in the right order. We've got to loot down here first before we can go up. Sorry, it has to be done in that order. I'm sure it'll be fine. I think I heard him talk, so... He's he's alive. That's, that's good news, isn't it? I can't believe the demon just came out to face us and then turned around again. At least I know now what he looks like. So I can mentally prepare myself for his um, beautiful visage, as the French say. I don't know if they do actually say that. My French is terrible. 
uninteresting. <laughs> I love it when he says that. I went through uh, quite a bunch of my books today and was like, pretty much the same, uninteresting. Okay, can I? I can cook some stew. 17. Ah. I was hoping for more, but okay. Oh, 34 stew. Okay, that's good. That's a start. Nice, we've got some stew now, guys. Time to celebrate. Go on. Oh, <laughs> Look at Gorn. Gorn, you can do it. I'll take the other ones on. You take the demon and his army, and I'll fight these two skeletons, okay? Okay, that's the plan. You're doing great. How long has he been fighting here for? Oh, we've got two more coming. Don't worry, I got them. Just keep the other ones busy. How dare you block. How did that not interrupt his attack? Okay, sorry, Gorn. Just hold on. Oh, the skeleton is actually fast. Draw your weapon, you idiot. There's the zombie. Oh, he's still got quite a bit of health. Got to be careful with those zombies. They're quick to attack. Sort of got to treat them like humans, interestingly, in terms of enemy type. Uh, oh, I was going to say, where is he? They're all the way over there now. This guy already lost quite a bit of health. Well done, Gorn. Oh, this one's still full health. What did you do there, Gorn? I expected better of you. <coughs> oh no! We've got a skeleton <coughs> as well. Why is he not blocking when I literally hit the block button? <coughs> oh. <coughs> Hate it when they use the same tricks on me that I use on them. Why is there no combat music? This is all a bit too quiet. A bit anticlimactic. I thought it was going to be more epic, to be honest. Okay, let's let's heal. Uh, eight. Oh no! Where do you even come from? Who zombies? And a skeleton. What did I do? Oh god. Okay, the skeleton is leaving us alone. Gorn is a real hero. Oh, I hate it when they're actually good at attacking like this. This is actually quite difficult. They're not really giving me an open. No, literally. Literally about to be killed by zombies. Damn! Okay, this is a bit of a challenge. Albeit a quiet one without any combat music for some reason. Oh, now we get normal music instead. That'll do. Okay, there's a skeleton coming now, but I'd rather have a skeleton than a zombie than two zombies, I think. Okay, things are not looking too great. I wish he would lock on to the enemy that I actually want him to lock on to, but he sort of doesn't. He just locks on to, oh, maybe this guy now, oh, and then maybe the other guy. Who cares? Here we go, that's not too bad. Let's have a steak. And thus the hero dies. Yep, that's the end of the game. Can't reload or anything. It's permadeath. I did actually think about doing something like a permadeath run with um, Gothic 1. I don't know if I'd do it with Gothic uh, 3 or Gothic 2, because I think they're substantially harder. What's going on over there? Are they having a standoff? Oh no, Gorn is in there. Okay, let's, um, the demon of Gotha <laughs> still has all of his health. Let's see if I can shoot this guy. Oh, there's multiple in there. I want to get rid of the zombies first before taking on the demon. Oh, well done, Gorn, he killed somebody. Oh no! 
Go on, help. Go on, you go out there and kill him. Right, this guy's gonna get cheesed. Oh no, can he actually get in here? Go on, careful. He's got like a flame sword. That can't be good for your health. Get him going, we're pushing him back. Careful out there. Oh god, no, I got hit. I got hit. I'm gonna circle around Gorn, don't worry. I'm gonna do a quick save here, I think we're in a good position. Position. Oh, now he's in the house, now he can cheese us. Okay, he's actually a bit of a disappointment in terms of his prowess. Okay, he heard that in. Here One we go. Filthy beast less. Yep, I mean, he's jiggling a bit, but... Still all done. Oh, might as well sit and just... Hold on, Demon of Gotha. What do we have here? Demon Horn. Chuck it away, now. How would I do that? Okay, I thought this was going to be scary and challenging, but it wasn't that bad. GG, thank you. And now, we sit with this demon on our lap. And, um... I don't know. I guess we're just going to loot this place now. What's Gorn doing? He's just going to stand there forever now? Okay, let's loot this place. There's probably going to be a few more zombies here around, I think. That we can kill. A bit more loot to take. And then... Um, I feel like maybe we should go... To... The king? Unless we have to give that stone to the rebels. But I'd, I'd quite like to meet the king. See what he has to say about all of this mess. Maybe he's got some answers for us. Lots of gold. That's what I'd like to see. Oh, it's 100 gold each. I thought it was only going to be like 25 or so. That's considerably more. Is there a whetstone here somewhere? Does that like to incre increase the damage of my bastard sword? I don't think there is. No, don't talk to me, Gorn. I'm not ready to talk to you yet. I don't think, at least. I may need you in case there's more enemies around. And I'm scared that you may leave me if I talk to you. I think if the modern community... Maybe you got a new friend in that demon? Maybe. I think if the modern community put similar effort into Gothic 3 as it did in Gothic 2, it could be good. Um, you may be right there, yeah. I actually haven't had a look at the mods that are out there for Gothic 3, but, well, not much. I looked at a bit, like, a, a, a graphical... Do anything. Why am I in a battle? Not like that. Who's even attacking me from where? 100 gold received. Oh, that was just from what I picked up. Oh, now I can open it. Now okay. I'm not... Gonna... Why? What happened? Now I got the crease broken beyond redemption. <laughs> Maybe. There's some, but they're quite underwhelming. Okay. I mean, they... The, you have to say that the community did good, uh, did do a good thing with the um, community patches and stuff. Because without them, I couldn't even play the game. The game just wouldn't run without them. So, at least they got the game to run. That's something. Same for Risen 1, to be honest. I was in no or meh mods. Yeah, and I don't understand it with Not Risen. Like that. I think Risen is genuinely a good game, so... And I don't think Risen had was was received badly by the press either so i don't know why it never was well you showed him i didn't quite expect it uh i wouldn't expect it to be as popular as gothic 1 or 2 but like that it didn't even get close to it i thought that was a bit disappointing in terms of its place within like the piranha bites community is i think it is Probably the best Piranha Bytes game after Gothic 1 and 2, from what I've played so far. I mean, I've played all the games except for Gothic 3 now. And I do really like Risen. So, yeah. A bit disappointed that I didn't get the love the others did. I mean, they now re-released it on t the Nintendo Switch. I haven't gotten it yet. I think £25 for a re-release is not too much. Um, but... They didn't do anything to it. It's not like it got a remaster or something. But yeah. Is that the last one? No, Gorn's still going crazy. 
In my opinion, mods give games replayability. Of course, that's a good thing. I'd rate them like I'm, uh, I'm, I'm curious. Gothic 2, Risen 1, Gothic 3, Gothic 1. You don't like Gothic 1? I was considering whether I like Gothic 1 more than Gothic 2, actually. Elex 2, Elex 1, Risen 3, Risen 2. I think I'd put Risen 2 in the last spot as well. Um, but I haven't played it in so long, it's quite difficult to judge which ones... Well, how I would rate them at all. Uh, yeah, how I would rate them. I've played Elex 1 and 2 relatively recently, and I've played Gothic 1 and 2 recently. And I've obviously restarted a Risen playthrough, and I just know I love that game. Um, but yeah, apart from that... I can't remember pretty much anything at all from Risen 2 and 3 because I haven't played them in so long, so wouldn't really know where to put them. But Risen didn't introduce anything new to Brown Bass Bank games, even though the Melee Combat Risen actually my favourite. I think so too, yeah. I do like the Melee Combat. <laughs> that zombie there. The Melee Combat in Risen. I think it is. You bear! So much for you. I think it is my favorite Piranha Bytes melee combat system. That being said, it's still not great compared to other games. But it is the most decent. I think they, they, they did. That being said, after I got into the combat <sighs> system of Gothic 1 and 2... <clears throat> fuck. <throat> what the hell? Go on. Help. After I got into the combat system of Gothic 1 and 2, I did... I uh, actually quite like it in the end, although getting into it took a long time and getting good at it. Um, Gothic 1 lacks content too much in my opinion, it's too linear. Uh, yeah, I guess you could argue that. It's a short game, possibly the shortest Piranha Bytes game. Um, I think I only played it for like 30 hours or so, then I was done. Um, that being said... Hold on, I want Gorn to help here. Um, that being said, I still really liked my first playthrough, so much so that I want to do a Gothic 1, another Gothic 1 playthrough relatively soon. Well, relatively soon is relative, because there's lots of games I want to play uh, on the channel. But Gothic 1's definitely one that I definitely want to replay. Maybe because it's so long. So many games these days are so long, and I think many in many of them some things get lost. Um, I already know that. And... Gothic 1, because it's a bit shorter, leaves you hungry for more, and I think that is partially why Gothic 2 was so successful, and is remembered. Impossible. Impo oh, okay. And is remembered as such a good game, because people did like Gothic 1, but did want more, and then more came. So, yeah, I do, I do really like I'm it, and I do think the main story in Gothic 1 possibly is the best main story in any Piranha Bytes game. Uh, Gothic 3 has more to offer. In terms of content, that's true, yeah. The magic and archery was terrible in Gothic 1 as well. It's far better in Gothic 3. Yeah, I can't really comment on that yet because I've not done a whole lot of that in Gothic 1. I've only done the melee playthrough. I will probably do another melee playthrough with the... Um, with... Um, but the time of the great the beings camp. had come to an end. For thus was the will of Adonos. And Adonos called a flood, and the being was washed off the earth. What being? The biggest strength of Gothic 1, in my opinion, is dialects and character interactions. I also do like the setting. I think the setting is quite unique. Uh, and the atmosphere. And I care about gameplay more. I think you have taught me that, yeah. Hold on, I didn't read the previous me message. The biggest strength... Oh, no, I did. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, I do remember you telling me that gameplay is important for you. And I do think Gothic 1 doesn't have the greatest gameplay, but as I said, as I was getting into it, um, I did start to enjoy it, but Gothic 2 is definitely better in terms of gameplay. People may argue that it's not that different from, from Gothic 1, but they did improve on the combat system at least a little bit, and I think that little bit did make a big difference in the end. Have I looked into, I think I have looked into these houses. I think this is it, isn't it? I've looked into everything now. I think. Is there any where I haven't been to yet? No, I must have been everywhere. Okay, cool. Go on, we're done here. How are you? Well done. Good job. With the demon and such. Just 
look at this mess. This used to be a proud paladin stronghold. Hmm. The demon of Gotha will never scare anyone again. <laughs> Don't tell me. You did it again. I mean, you did most of the work. Both of us, that you'll never meet your match, my friend. I hope so too. Upstairs is more? Oh, how did I miss that? What I hate the most about Gothic 1 is that you can literally do zero damage to enemies. Yeah, that is a bit what frustrating at next? times. I will try to rebuild Gotha. What? There are people out there looking for a place to stay. Don't get yourself killed, my friend. That would be a waste. This mess is more fun when you're in it too. <laughs> It is. You need me as a comrade in arms. You know where to find me. Nice. We got Gore now. Come with me. Come with me. Let's go. Actually, I don't want to follow her. They're annoying. Go back now. Go back now. You know where to find me. Okay. I um, wonder if he's going to tear this down because that's probably a statue of Badia. Now, you said there's more upstairs. Oh, did you mean here? Oh, or upstairs here. There's two upstairs that I missed, I think. Potential. How do I get up here? Oh. Through here? Have I not been there? I really can't remember what I did two seconds ago. How do I have such bad memory? No, I haven't been up here. Well, we. I'm getting worse at looting. Didn't think that was going to happen anytime soon. Broken. It's not broken. Thank you very much. More gold? Lots of gold. Nice. Probably make the money back that we paid for Gorn with all the loot and stuff. I'd hope so, at least. Oh well. It's not like we're short in money. And I don't think I'll pay this one orc in um, whatever the town is called, 50,000 gold. If you had to choose the fighting system they'd put into a remake, how would you compare Gothic 3 to Risen 1? Oh, I prefer Risen 1, definitely. I don't... I'm... I, I now sort of got the hang of the fighting system in this game. But I'm still not a big fan of it, I wouldn't say. So, uh, I'd prefer if they did something more akin to Risen 1. It is a bit um, worrying that since they released their demo, the Gothic 1 remake demo, that have not really shown any content, a little bit. Like, you had screenshots, I think, they released of the old camp. And, like, a render trailer. But apart from that, they haven't really shown much of what the game is like. And I played the Gothic 1 remake demo before I played Gothic 1. And I was like, well, this is okay, I think. But then I played Gothic 1, and from what I remember from the demo, it was nothing like Gothic 1. I choose Akania's combat, really? Or, I mean, I've never played it. It could be that Akania has good combat, but <laughs> that would be surprising. I do actually prefer Gothic 3, and I can explain why. Risen 1 has a lot of spam combat. You just spam until the enemy randomly stops blocking. Uh, I don't know if that's true, because they can do the counter-attack, can't they? And then you may be fucked. <laughs> Gothic 3 is more tactical. You wait for the enemy to make a move and give you a window to attack. Yeah, but, I mean, as long as you're patient, I don't think it's very challenging. I feel like Gothic uh, Risen, Risen's combat system just felt better to me. If you executed combos fluidly uh, yeah fluidly and if you attacked timed your attacks well and your dodges and stuff uh, then I think it could feel quite fluid and I haven't really gotten the feeling of fluidity in any other Parada Bites game the combat always uh, always feels clunky it still does feel clunky in Risen 1 but I feel like they it was a step in the right direction there's nothing new here. Yeah, the Arcania combat is actually better than Gothic 3. Didn't know that people actually played Arcania. Um, <laughs> I feel like I have to give it a go. One day. Maybe after this, maybe we'll we'll have a look. Probably not a full playthrough. <laughs> but um, just having a look. I actually did look at the Steam page of Arcania the other day. Uh, I think it's still like 14, 15 pounds or something, which I find ridiculous for a game that never has been successful uh, they're lucky if anybody buys it but like the more recent reviews were actually at like 66 percent favorable so maybe it's not as bad as people say don't it's a horrible game okay i think gothic 2 is the most skill-based gothic 3 is the most tactical and reason one is the easiest okay 
In both and Gothic 3, you cannot spam attacks or you die. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I agree with that. I'm just thinking about what we should do next, because we've got that stone from... that had a portus to the king, so shall we say hello to the king, maybe? Uh, maybe that's an interesting idea. Or maybe we have to bring this to somebody. To the rebels? I have no idea. Let's just go to the king and see what he says. I wonder if there's quests there at all. Gelden. That is... Vengard. Let's see what happens. Oh my god, we're in Vengard. I sort of almost expected that we're gonna end up somewhere... ...in a shithole, but... ...we're actually in the castle and there's a paladin there. Okay, has not really got the game, but it's seriously pretty? Really? Okay. Someone finally made it. I have. We have been waiting for a sign from outside for so long. Welcome, stranger. Hello. Tiny spool. You don't do anything with it. Collect all five and it will become a use. Else you can just wear them. What was that about? Yeah, visit Roba and kill him so that others don't have to. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Um. What's going on here? The King's protective barrier sealed the orcs in here with us. The orcs have captured half the city. We need help. This fire chalice must be taken to Corypto, the highest ranking oh. fire mage in the king's castle. Someone must break through the orc's position and reach the castle. Okay, thank you. Okay, there's okay, but could be much better. The Adonis thing, like the ring you got from the demon? Mate, I don't even look at the loot I get, I just take it. <laughs> I don't look at things. Give me the fire chalice. All right, but be careful with it. <clears throat> don't let them take it from you. It is extraordinarily valuable. This guy is awfully trusting, considering he's only met us. What is so important about this fire chalice? <clears throat> You're asking me? All I know is that the fire mages are crazy for the things. Okay. I guess we'll find out eventually. We still have four to go. They might be in the temples, actually, that we have to go to in the desert. Uh, oh, what sort of place is this? What sort of place is this? It is the old temple of Enos for this city. We retreated here, and now we're stuck. Of Adam's objects are the strongest things to wear, so we check it out. Oh, okay, we can do that. Why oh, we forgot to buy the ancient tablets from that one orc merchant? Oh well, not the end of the world. What can be done against the orc's superior numbers? You can absolutely nothing. Oh. They are dug into the streets like ticks. What about fire They're Led by five commanders who occupy the most important positions. Oh, in guess the city. what I have the to do. Commanders would have to be eliminated before uh. we stand any chance at all of reconquering the city. Yeah, I have an idea of what I have to do. I'll take care of the five <coughs> orc commanders. I hope your fighting skill is as great as your <coughs> arrogance, stranger. Almost. The commanders have settled in the large houses of the city. Good luck. I hope to see you again in one piece. Maybe you will. I have to get to the king. There is a whole garrison of orc warriors between here and the castle. Oh. Only a madman would try to make his way through oh. the city to the castle. I thought we would be where the king is. Just tell me how to get to the castle. When you leave the temple, look south. The high walls and towers are part of the king's castle. But to get there, you have to pass through the orc infested city, stranger. I think you got shit on if you try this quest now. Yeah, I had a feeling that this might be end game sort of content but seeing as we just got the stone I thought I might as well say hello rebel why is he a rebel I mean he's not outside he should be just be a king's guard or something you've though. come from the outside haven't you yep I hope you've got more guts than all the other cowards around here of course I do what's your business in the castle I must report to Cobran the commander-in-chief of the royal guard Cobran. He needs to know that there are some people left here struggling to survive. Hmm. How can I help you? The question is, how can we help each other, brother? I need to get inside the castle. Me too. And I suppose you could use a comrade in arms with whatever lies ahead of you. I can. Let me fight by your side. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Let's not forget this guy when we actually attempt to do this quest. Whatever that is going to be. Oh, this is quite barren, isn't it? Can I look out the window? Well, there's nothing there. This fight won't take long. Excuse me? Sir. Is he gonna come in? 
I'll tear you apart. Oh. oh. Now it's your turn. Oh. Okay, I think I've done um, a sort of start of a thing here. Okay, let's see um, if we can do something here. Okay. Um, looks like we started the battle for the castle or something. Oh, damn. Guys, help! Wow, <laughs> there's fighting everywhere now. I hope I haven't actually... Wow, look at me go. Oh no, where did he even come from? Oh god, there's so many. Oh, we should have brought George. Oh damn. Why does the main guy go for me? Help! I'm not gonna run away and... Um, Generate. We didn't do too badly there, though. Oh damn, you do more damage than I thought. You might got this. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I'm almost tempted to. Almost tempted to try it now because that didn't go too badly. Didn't really take it serious, dear. But if I get George, and if I do what I. Oh, this is where we. Okay. Yeah, let's skip like this. Skip a Rooney. Let's do a heart save here. And try to pull that orc in again through the wall. And then we can get the whole pretty much everybody in here to help us. Come, let's go. Your head is mine. Here we go. Now the orc comes around the corner. Now it's your turn. <laughs> Okay, the war has started. Oh no, turn. don't shoot my guy! Oh, where does he even come from? Why do you come over here out of all places? Come on guys, the, the battle has started. Gotta help the people outside. Am I being attacked or what? Oh, this guy's attacking me. Oh, I've got two attacking me, of course. Oh god. Performance isn't great here. Too many orcs. Two at once is a bit difficult. Oh. Okay. I would help you guys, but I'm a bit of a predicament I'm by myself here. Okay. Okay, I got another two here. Are the others gonna survive or? Oh no, I think there's a dead person already. Oh god. I don't think I actually got this. I think they're killing everybody at the moment. Oh god. Oh no! We failed the quest and we did. I remember I did this quest when I just got the new Fire Rain, which isn't Fire Rain, it's called Meteor in this game. And it was just... It, it was such a storm through. Okay. Yeah, that sounds interesting, but they literally just killed everybody. They killed all of us, so I don't think I'm ready for this quite yet. Maybe I need better armor. But yeah, I was thinking that this might be a bit early. Now... What I suggest that we do instead is that we go to Braga and... Then do the desert. Because we've done pretty much everything that is to be done in the Midlands. There's a few small quests, but uh, we can do them whenever we want to. So I'd say let's go to Braga and then head east to whatever town this is. Ben Arai. And yeah, see how we get on from there. Is there another temple nearby, near Braga? Maybe learn Balia's spell, Army of Darkness, to spawn 10 zombies, skeletons to distract, all you need is 250 ancient knowledge. I don't know if that is much, I don't know where, where do I see my ancient, I've got 21 ancient knowledge, so 250 seems like a bit much. Okay, uh, I assume we just follow this road here, looks like it. Okay, off we go, 
off on another adventure. At least we're somewhere different now. Continuing to explore the desert. No temple near Braga? Okay, thanks, Duplex. So we're close then? <laughs> yeah, we're extremely close. Almost there. What are those? Just normal lizards? Normal lizards. Don't really care about those, if I'm being honest. Goodness, so many enemies. I thought maybe I can just walk through the, to the next town without any trouble, but looks like we have to do some killing. Unless there's noises. How many are there? Four. Okay, if they're like wolves, I can't remember what they're like, then we might be in trouble. Oh. Okay, is that... No, that's one dead. I thought it might be two dead. Okay, that's two dead. Okay, apparently I can kill a pack of jackals. That's not too bad. Nice one. Is it Largo? It's fun there. You have told me about Largo before. Where is... Oh, Largo's here. So it would be the next town. We will go there. But seeing as the other town is on the way to Largo, we'll go to the other town as well. What's making that noise? Was that the lizard? Oh. Oh, there's another jackal that for some reason didn't attack us. Anyway. Has uh, your guys day been a water barrel? That's nice. Shouldn't that evaporate like in the desert? I guess they're... Is, are we on the road still? Oh, the road is over here. Can't... Oh no, we've got to stray from the road in this case. There's too many lizards there. I don't want to... I don't want to face that many lizards. I actually haven't fought against lizards in a while, but I'm a bit traumatized from the first time I faced lizards in that cave of the rebels. Why are you not using fire or poison, by the way? You don't like these game mechanics? Uh... I don't know how. Well... How do I... Like with spells or what are you talking about? So far I haven't really needed stuff. There's always something to do. I haven't really hit a wall or anything. So there was no need to use those mechanics yet. I did consider using a poison weapon, but apparently you have to stab somebody to be able to use it. And I don't even know how you stab somebody to be honest. Here we go. Yeah, fire arrows. Oh yeah, I do use them sometimes, but most of the time they're expensive, man. They're like 40 a piece, so I don't really need to use them. There's been no enemy recently which was strong enough to for me to use any special or fancy techniques like that. So I only tend to use things when I really need to. But there's no other way to go about things. I'm resourceful like that in in RPGs. I usually end up with all the best items in my inventory without ever having used them. Or you could buy poison arrows, or with alchemy you can poison your sword. Okay, does that automatically make it a poisoned weapon, like with the Hashishin weapons? Like with this Hashishin knife? And I think it was Tuplex who told me, please correct me if I'm wrong, uh, that you have to stab an enemy for it to work though. So as I said, I don't even know how to use a stab. So, I don't know how useful that would be. What I don't like about this game, one thing, is that you don't really have a direction as to where to go or what to do next, or at least not much. Like, if I didn't decide, I uh, hadn't decided that we're gonna go to the desert now, you could argue that we... that you're, you're just a bit lost, like there's no real thread that goes through the game. Yes, I can show you right now, hold mouse 2. Ah! Okay, now I know. Yes, if I remember correctly, poison only works when you are stabbing enemies, then you stab, okay. Um, I mean, I don't know how viable that is in game, because so far I've not really used any... I've not used a charged attack, and this takes as long as a charged attack from what I've seen. I don't know how viable it is. Can we talk to this guy here? Who are you? Is he just a rando? He's just a rando. What about you? Camper? Hello. Do you have work for me? Work? 
The damn nomads are hanging around here everywhere. I'll pay you a bounty for every nomad leader you get. If that's what you mean by work, then I've got work for you. Who's on your list? Shakyor the Lion. He raided Lago. Hurit. He raids the oasis in the south with his people. And Yespas. He lurks on the roads and ambushes travelers. Okay. Uh, stabbing is slow on mobs. Okay. Good for yours, though. That's good to know. Stabbing is strong if you have a weapon with good range only. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what we're using at the moment. It could be that we're using a longsword, actually. Show me your water. I haven't changed my weapon in ages, to be honest. Uh, that's boring what he has. What are we using? Yeah, we're using a longsword. I still have to find a whetstone for the bastard sword. So we have a slightly better weapon. Maybe we should look out for more recipes or blueprints to make better weapons as well. Because I think I've only used like three different melee weapons in the game so far. I was also thinking about whether we should invest anything in um, two-handed weapons. I don't know if they're any good. Or if it's worth it doing that. Anybody home? No, there's nobody here. I like the houses of these guys. They did do a good job with the whole atmosphere in the desert. Like this right here looks pretty cool. The view. I think Katana is the best one at weapon by range. Okay. Yeah, I think it is. Okay. So we should get our hands on a Katana maybe. At one point. Who are you? Just a fighter. I thought he might be somebody important. Not a book. Here it says oh, this guy doesn't even have a proper roof. Just a carpet on his roof. Is this anybody's house? Oh, that's a person, probably. Can't read his name though. Which is stupid though, as a katana is a two handed weapon, to remember. Uh, IRL. Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty sure katana is a uh, two handed weapon. Hey, I'm Eusebio. The I alchemist, know. I presume. And distiller of top notch moonshine. Oh, now we talk. Whatever you need, I can get you anything. <clears throat> okay. Tell me about the city. Man, we're sitting right here on a gold vein, oh. and there is not a nugget in it for me. Damn. How I would love to creep round here at night and empty all the chests. Why don't you? Are you nuts? I'm glad when I can drag my belly out of bed in the morning. <laughs> well, it's not like there are a lot of rain days in the desert. What's that in reference to? Uh, but anyway, you're right. I don't think there's going to be a lot of rain in the desert. Uh, can you teach me something? Sure. Brewing potions is my business, and I have a recipe for some really fierce booze. Mm. But before you can have that, oh. you must bring me ten cactus blossoms. Of course he wants something. Uh, what does he have? Show me your good. Do most teachers in the game want something from you before they teach you something? Because I'm pretty sure I haven't spoken to all the teachers and asked them to teach me something because, well, I didn't want to learn anything. I feel like you never took a moment to check out the skills and spells you can learn. No, I never have. <laughs> you should do it and make a plan for your character build. Nah, nah. I don't need plans, man. I just, um, we're like 20 hours in. <laughs> so no, I'm just playing it by ear. Elite Shishin Armor. 140,000, damn, that's expensive. Like, We've got a few skills here, got a few skills here, and a few skills here, that's fine by me. Got some skills there, some skills there. Not gonna skill anything here. Not, don't know if we're gonna skill anything here. Yeah, that's the plan. We're gonna be Marcel the Shell, basically. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, San Sancho? I am Sancho. I can't use any more guards, and you don't look like a slave, so what do you want? Wasn't there Sancho in the other town as well? Do you have work for me? I'm already paying enough people to stand around doing nothing, but if you want real work, then I've got something for you. Yeah? What's that? What do you have for me to do? I have not had a word from our tunnel in Largo for ages. Oh. Fabio's gold deliveries have not arrived. Fabio? Something is not right. Go to Largo, take a look around. Sounds suspicious. Where is Lago? Lago is northeast of here. 
It's just a couple of huts on the coast. Hmm. You couldn't even call it a tiny village. <laughs> But at least they have a tunnel there. And I'm not getting any more gold from there, damn it all! Goodness. No need, no need to shout at me like that. Do you have anything else for me to do? Hmm. Yes, actually. I am worried about my men. Being that close to gold will make anyone weak eventually. So talk to them and keep your ears open. If anyone acts suspicious, then tell me. Alchemy is quite strong when it can brew permanent potions? Yeah, so I've heard. Uh, Eusebio is acting. Is he? I don't know if he does. I don't know if I want to do our friend in. But yeah, alchemy may be useful later on. But we're doing okay for now, I think. All things considered. So, I'm the sort kind of guy who only really invests in stuff in an RPG when I hit a war. Up until that point, I don't really Welcome to do anything. Welcome to <laughs> I bet you haven't come to break your back working, right? Well now, friend. This city is, is a treasure chest, albeit a well-guarded one. Oh, he's sus. If you want to chat about gold for a while, bring me some first. A hundred gold. Interesting. What's your job here? I started out just like you. However, that was a long time ago. I toured the arenas for a while, but that wasn't really my cup of tea. Now, I'm standing guard here. It may not be very lucrative, but I know a lot about what's going on. He said me sus. I just like this game mechanics like poison because it adds static elements into the combat system, but I see you are a simple man. I am a simple man. I click, and that's all I do pretty much. Hitting a wall in this game might be very painful. I think hitting a wall in any circumstance might be painful. I'm not sure if I actually ever hit a wall in real life. Like, literally walked into a wall. I don't know if that's ever happened to me. It would be probably an interesting experience. I saved, so what's gonna happen if I... Let's have a little chat. Fine. That. There are basically three ways to get your hands on the gold. Either you swing a pickaxe, you go up against everybody at once, or you use stealth. Right. That is not very What if helpful. I want to swing a pickaxe? <clears throat> then you're a greater idiot than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> because first, you need to earn access to the tunnels. But hey, if that's what you want, I've still got a pickaxe I could sell you. I don't want your pickaxe. What exactly do you mean by stealth? You must have nimble fingers. And you had better wait until everyone's asleep. Yeah. I can show you how to get to the chests. But it'll cost you. Man, I didn't think I need any of your advice. What if I want to take on everyone at once? You're a strong fellow. And I'm no wimp myself. I also know a few slaves who oh. would surely fight with us. But you should be well prepared. So look around for a while and get an overview. So I could instigate some kind of thing that I'm gonna save because that information was not worth my money. <laughs> not gonna lie, I couldn't figure that out myself. Um, don't know if this is gonna be important for a quest though, potentially. So we'll see. We'll see. We only just arrived and taking it all in. Love the lens flare. What are you, just a lead warrior? Okay. Fighter. Are you Vesco? Well, have you followed the call of the gold too? Yes, sir. I am Vasco, steward of Benerai. Hello. Just what does a steward do? I take care of the slaves, count the gold, organize the guards, everything that needs to be done. Go kill the 200 sand crawlers behind the camp for a fun experience. Are there actually 200 sand crawlers? That'd be funny. Do you have work for me? Crawlers keep coming from the west. Oh god. Recently, the beasts have ventured <laughs> rather close to us. Too close. Yes, They've that's a quest. They've already eaten a couple of slaves. I want you to deal with them. Especially those tough beasts. They must have a nest somewhere. <laughs> Look at all of these guys grilling there. Where should I look for the beasts? Look for them west of here. Near the mountains. And remember, I want you to kill the tough ones. Okie dokie. Oh, what's going on up here? What kind of bridge is this? Huh. Hmm, we'll have to check that out. I do want to check out the town first, though. Whatever the hell's left of it. I don't know if there's that much left. Oh, did we get up there? Oh yeah, that looks like it leads up there. Um, any more people we can talk to? 
Anyone? Who are you? Just indeed warrior. Only she an experienced smith can make a truly good weapon. I may turn the um tired You'd better go now. We'll both get I may trouble. turn the renderer off again. I don't know if it I has a huge impact on the graphics. I don't think it actually does. But um, performance is more important to me than the fidelity of the game. I think the game probably looks good enough without it anyway. So I'll probably do that before the next stream. If I remember. Hey you, where do you think you're going? I don't well, know. I thought I'd take a look around. Exactly. Yeah. Sharp a new weapon? Know. Oh yeah, thanks. But you aren't fooling me. You're here because you're hot for some quick gold. Maybe, baby. They have a mine in Benarai. There must be something <clears throat> there I can get my hands on, right? But you won't set foot in the tunnels, got it? In any case. Not until you make yourself useful first. What does that Let mean? me tell you. Oh. I don't like you. So I'm going to keep an eye on you. Go to Sancho and let him give you work. Otherwise... Otherwise what? Otherwise I'll have to assume that you're only here to steal the gold. And I wouldn't want to be in your shoes then. So you'd better hurry up. Okay. You've got three days left? Wow. Uh... What are you doing here? <clears throat> I'm guarding the gold and making sure every passing stranger doesn't start digging. The only thing that matters to you is that I'm guarding the gold. Got it? Okie dokie. No. We do not know if... 75 and, and a rhyme. We got zero. That's not a lot. Oh, teleporter. I forgot about that. Uh, now, where was the whetstone? Is that in here? Oh, yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, bastard sword. Oh, is that it? Cool. So, that now does slightly more damage than our current weapon. This is 95, this does 100. I thought it was going to do way more damage. Apparently not. What does it look like? Ah, oh, damn. I always forget that you have to actually put it into the quick bar as well then. Okay, at least it looks sort of cool. Pew, pew. Nice. New weapon. Okay. Right, I guess we'll better do the quest then. If we only have three days for the quest to be done. Uh, which one? What do we have to do for Sancho though? Let's have a little looky. Uh, job for Sancho. Kampa. Okay. Ball, that's Vasco. The Tunnel of Lago. I'm already paying enough people to stand around. Is that... Oh. That's about him being suspicious of other people, is it? Go to Lago, take a look around. Oh. Okay. So, we need to go to Lago for him. What if we tell him about the alchemist being suspicious? Eusebio is acting suspicious. Yusubio is a bum. <laughs> he chops up grass and distills booze. Maybe he's guzzled too much of his own stuff. Whatever. Leave him alone. We need him. Okay. <laughs> right. So this guy wants us to go to Largo and do a quest for him. And we only have three days. So I think we just might as well go to Largo then. Which, um, where's the road to Largo though? Is that a road? Yeah. That's not a road, is it? Is there a road? Is that a road? Are you somebody? No. Okay. Let's just follow the road and go to Lago. Tuplex wanted us to go to Lago anyway. Apparently it's fun there, so... I guess we'll find out. Isn't Lago also a real world place? Isn't it the capital of some country? Uh, no, Lagos, I think, is a place, isn't it? I don't know. I'm bad at geography, apparently. Interesting looking mines and tower. And it does is quite pretty at night as well, though. What is that up here? I think that might be a temple. It looks like this, and that was a temple. One, two, three, four. I think that's the four temples, right? Uh, yeah, but Lago's way closer. We're gonna go there eventually. Not right now. Hint, you can sneak into the mines at night as well and mine all the gold. Okay. That is good to know. We're short on gold. Do you mean the mines up here? I mean, we are eventually going to get in there anyway, aren't we? By being a good boy and doing quests. Damn, all those jackals. 
wish Diego was here. Where's Lago? And why is there a waterfall there? Is that an oasis? Oh, I'm being attacked. Can't have that. I can't hit him because we're fighting downhill. I hate the hitboxes in this game. They're really annoying. Damn it. Come on. Here we go. Nice one. Okay. Uh, we're still on the right path. I am. Oh, Lago is... Lago actually where the... Uh, where the oasis is? Oh, yes. I think so. That's cool. Nice. I actually haven't even thought about the fact that there may be a town close to an oasis. And what's this over here? Is that a mine? We may have to get rid of those jackals if we want to get in there, though. Um, let's have some meat. Lagos, well, Batras is really? Would you free him? Probably. I like Batras. The hitboxes would be fine if you had a way of directional fighting. Yeah, that's true, actually. <laughs> But I don't think they had is it had that in any Piranha Bytes game. I think even in Edix 2, I still had trouble hitting enemies sometimes when things didn't line up properly. And weirdly enough, enemies barely ever had problems hitting me. Like the player seems to have a way the player's hitbox seems to be too big in Edix 1 and 2. And the enemy's hitbox are not big enough sometimes. Very strange. Oh damn, I thought I hit him there. He was dead, but he wasn't. Um <clears throat> Badras had the Michael Jackson effect. He's no longer black, really? That's interesting. <laughs> why didn't they Why didn't they make him or keep him black? That's a bit strange. Oh well. Now are we even supposed to allow to be in here? Or what is this place? Is that a mine? Oh, it certainly looks... Oh, here we go. We've got some water mine. Nice. That'll take ages. If this is full of ore veins, we'll be, we'll be hammering away for a while. What did we do with the other water mage? We brought him to the rebels, didn't we? Yes, I think we already made up our mind on the, on the water mages. I thought it was a gold... Is that a gold vein? No, that's just roots. That is the mine of Largo? Oh, okay. Am I allowed to do what I'm doing currently, or will that get me into trouble? I don't want to happen what happened to us in... Nothing more to be had in there. ...in <laughs> Mine it out now, as it will be more difficult later. Okay, I will do that. I'll take that to heart. Get all the loot while I can. That being said, I don't think I've ever sold anything in this game yet that wasn't in the, in the weapons tab. But all the other tabs are full of stuff from this playthrough. That I haven't needed yet, and that I haven't used yet, and that I haven't sold yet. Mining doesn't count as stealing? Okay, that's good to know. Strange, but good to know. Oh, it's actually quite a small mine as well. Okay. So we're not going to be here for ages. That's good. <clears throat> Two gold nugget prospected. Very nice. I like that they, it is quite funny that they have mining in this game again, because I remember in Gothic 2, in um, Night of the Raven, the expansion, in Jarkandar, when you went to the bandit camp, and you mined all the gold there, that took ages to do. At least this doesn't take quite as long. That's one hell of an achievement, not selling anything up to this point. Well, I did sell some weapons, but not that many. I mean, my inventory right now is probably full. Yeah, it's full of weapons, so... And we still have, like, 60,000 gold or something? Yeah. So, we're doing just fine. I've not had any problems with money in this game yet. That's one thing that I noticed about Piranha Bytes games as well. I never... There was never really much need for trading for me in any Piranha Bytes game. I usually get by just by looting. So... Yeah. Which is okay, I guess. But it would be nice if there was a need to do stuff. What does that even say? Can I turn the thing, the filters and stuff off, actually? Somehow. 
It's 73 FPS here though. That's not good. I'll just deactivate all of this. I don't think it actually did improve our carving block. Oh, I did improve our FPS a little bit. Okay, so this is a vanilla game. This is so strange. When I turn, the FPS drops. Because this is definitely not 60 FPS. Very strange. Chest. Sibur Narat. Hello. How's business? Gentle greetings, my friend. <laughs> How can Sibur Narad help you? I don't the know. doing one. The finder among seekers. Everything all right? <laughs> Everything is fine. The sun is warm and the sand is dry. Oh god, he's insane. He doesn't Life know it's night time. could not be better. Do you want to buy? Good old Sibba <laughs> has all sorts of things to offer. Good old Sibba. Oh, let's ask have this. Have you been smoking something? Don't say things like that. <clears throat> Consider it consciousness expanding meditation. Oh, so he has you been smoking. You would not believe how everything becomes so simple. All at once. So he is high. The significance of small in the large. The large in the small. Have you? Yes. Is that... Mm -hmm. Do you want some? Of course. Oh, it is really good <laughs> stuff, oh, word-twisting friend. So is that why they haven't been getting stuff? Did I see a boatyard? I saw a boatyard outside of your house. Do you also build boats? Oh. No, no, no. That has become much we too need a boat builder, didn't for we? me. I prefer to inhale a bit of weed and build in my head. Recently, what? I was so stoned. I dreamed of a really ingenious boat. Right. I had to draw it right away. Can I have the drawing? Hey, man. Huh. That's my invention. I'm not going to just <laughs> give it away. Can I convince you somehow? The weed? Mm -hmm. I might have an idea. Bring me five furs oh. from the white wolves. Oh. I think they uh -huh. have those in Nordbar. They're strong, man. You're joking, right? <laughs> furs? In the desert? And then from Nordmar? Sure, Fred. You have no idea. Don't I? <laughs> have you ever stretched out naked on a fur? And had a little smoke. I don't want to you imagine really him doing have that. To try it. It's uh, like flying. I've tried it with lots of different furs. Goodness. I'm still missing those from White Wolves. Okay. But do we have a deal? Um. Yeah, I guess so. I brought you the furs. Sounds like so. Fun. You better give me the drawing now. Hey, oh. Relax. What? Here. Have a smoke first. Old Sibor keeps his promises. Trust me, oh son of distrustfulness. Where did I get the furs from? Oh, I don't have the furs. Oh, I'm confused. What's going on in Largo? <clears throat> Since Rasul has been here, weed has been growing <laughs> everywhere. Great. Otherwise, talk to <clears throat> Fabio. But be careful with him. He's really uptight. Not been smoking enough weed then, eh? Okay, bye, Sibor. Have a good one. Um, who else can we talk to here? I don't even dare sleeping at the moment because we've got a time limit on that quest there. I do sort of like that. Cursed. Mamuk. What? What is it? I don't know. What are you doing here? <clears throat> as little as possible. Nice. Why would I want to do anything? Man, there's swamp weed growing everywhere here. <laughs> oh God. It's a dream come true. I now realize why you thought it was a fun place to flex. Curse it. it is quite funny. Want? I'm surprised that there's so many guards here. Can I just take some swamp weed from these guys? Do they mind? No. We've got to build our own stock. Hashishin. Fabio. What do, you want? what do you want here? Have you lost your way? Nope. Only slaves or raiding nomads will come here. And you don't look at all like a slave. I'm not. And you? What are you doing in these backwaters? Me? I'm the boss here. All right, my boys may not really be the cream of the crop. I have Hell a few stoned. guards, an orc, and a gladiator who is always stolen. But damn it, we grow the best swamp weed in the entire desert. And That's I have heard. a gardener. Does Zubin have a gardener? Or King Robar? I don't think so. I get it. Does that make you 
Does making a gardener make you better than a leader of a whole nation? Apparently so. How are things? We've been assaulted. How do you think things are? Assaulted? Calm once more? Yes, but it's a treacherous calm. The nomads were led by Shakyo, oh, by and I nomads, bet he is still somewhere in the vicinity. Is it just me, but Fabi doesn't sound like a rough sandman, more like a flamboyant male model? Yeah, I don't really understand why some of the nomad or some of the desert people have Italian names, whilst others have Arabian names. I don't understand that combination. Would have been more fitting if you gave them all Arabian names, and not Italian ones or like Mexican, like Sancho. I don't understand that. I have no idea why they didn't just stick to one and don't mix Spanish with Italian and Arabian. That's just stupid. Uh, <clears throat> what do you know about this Shakur fellow? The slaves call him the Lion. Some claim he isn't even human, but a man beast, a druid. And what do you believe? Oh, a druid. I have seen him fight, and I say he's a raider. Yes, he had a lion by his side, but that doesn't make him invincible. A lion? Okay, that's cool. So there's lions in this game. What should we do about Shakur? <clears throat> as long as he's nearby, we won't get a good night's sleep. Mm. He needs to disappear, preferably for good. Yeah, I can look into that. Sancho sent me. Did he now? And what does the bloated swine want? It's gold, he man. wants to know where his gold is. Have you had a look inside the tunnel? What happened? The nomads have taken all the slaves. Oh. And without any slaves, there won't be any gold. Oh. I will let him know. Yes, do that. If he wants his gold, let him swing a pickaxe himself. Hmm. And before we ask about the arena, let's do a quick save. Because I don't have the most health right now. Have you got something like an arena? Sure, we dug a pit just for that. If you want to fight, come talk to me. Yeah, why not? I want to fight in the arena. Fine, <laughs> you can fight against Grubas or Mamuk. Then I want to... No, it <clears throat> doesn't work that way. You will take on Mamuk first. Of course. After that, you get to face Grubas. Uh, let's do another quick save and see if I can take him. Let me fight <clears throat> against Mamuk. Fine, be my guest. But I wonder whether Mamuk is even up to it. Ever since Rasul started growing that weed, <laughs> he's been permanently stoned. Yeah, I've spoken to him. Oh well, a few good whacks can't hurt him. Of course. Do your best to drag him to the arena. Oh god, do we actually have to talk to him now? Or does he... Does he not show up by himself like the other ones? Is that the arena over there? Uh, Mamuk. Curse it. We're what gonna do, do some fighting. Want? Stop stoning. The two of us are going to fight in the arena. What? Arena? Say, wouldn't you rather have a smoke? It's fine. You've smoked quite enough already. Oh. Hey, stay calm, father of agitation. <laughs> father of agitation. Come on, you'll get a reefer if you win. <laughs> you know what? Whenever I want a oh, smoke, damn. I simply pick some weed. Come on, get moving. You've never been really stoned, huh, father of abstinence? If you don't want to enter the arena, we'll simply beat each other up right here. All right, all right, I'm coming. I'm so stressed out. <laughs> Poor man. Now, is he strong at all, or... I don't know. Should we quick save? I, I feel like we're probably going to beat him, aren't we? Where's the arena? I thought it was going to be up here. Oh, no, it's down here. Okay. Show me what you can do. Oh. Going to be a fight, man. Oh, he's actually not too bad. Damn. His attacks are quite quick. Okay, I don't... Get on with it. I have no idea how to handle people with two swords. Let him have it. Okay, we're not doing too badly. I mean, one hit and we're dead. Oh. That was perfect timing. <laughs> Okay, maybe let's have some food first. It's quite brutal when they like swing around and then they attack you again when you don't think they're going to have another attack in them. Don't mind me, I had a bite of steak, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Show me what you can do. It's going to be a fight, man. Like that move there. I don't even know when to hit him. Oh damn, why did I stop blocking? I'm already dead. Damn. 
Why did I stop blocking there? I don't know. Sometimes you just randomly... Yeah, it's quite difficult to fight, even stoned. Yeah, I thought... It can't be that difficult. Let's have another, another hunk of meat. I'm sure after another steak we're going to be fine. Show me what you can do. I thought maybe I can get the jump on him. I don't even know how I got a hit in last time. When? Is there going to be an opening? It literally doesn't give you an opening. There's no openings. It doesn't do slow attacks. Yeah, I, even if he does that, you, you think he's gonna? there's going to be an opening. Damn. Just take a reefer, you will fight better. Maybe you're right. Maybe that's the way to do it. Let's see if we have a reefer. We must have a like hundreds, probably. Where's my reefers? Are they in this menu? Oh no, they're here. Let's have a let's have a smoke. <laughs> oh, does he just continue smoking forever? Apparently so. We're gonna fight now. Oh, what the hell? What you can do. What's going on? I. Excuse me. Why is he not fighting? Oh, now I can do something. Going to be a fight. Oh, damn. He stabbed so quickly. Oh, fuck. I got me in a corner. Okay, bro. I found the game. I'll let you play when I hit 15k. I'll keep a secret for now, but you can look forward to it. Okay. Um... We'll see, we'll see. A lot of glitch, it did glitch, Show yeah. Me what you can do. How do I stab again? <laughs> oh, not like this. <laughs> oh. Okay, if I can do this one more time, or two more times. <laughs> How can this. he hit me when I've got my shield up? <laughs> okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So the stabbing is actually pretty useful here. Cool. Both must buttons at once. Yeah, I figured it out eventually and it saved the day. Nice one. Get up, Mamook. Can't wait to fight the orc. It's probably going to be easier. Because I know the orc's movesets. I didn't know this guy's moveset. You can do a charged minus one, two after a stab. You can do it fast. Oh, okay. Man, my score <clears throat> aches. Are you happy now? Yep. It was a good fight. Yes, for <laughs> one of us anyway. I'm gonna go lie down for a bit. You do that. Bye bye, Mamook. Okay, let's see if we can take that orc on. Do we actually get anything from fighting him? Is there like prize money or do we get a weapon or is that just for fun? Hello, Fabio. I hope I don't disturb the beauty sleep. Is he in? Is he sunk into the bed? I think he was. Ah, so you gave Mamook a thrashing. I did. But wait, did you even pay for this fight? Fuck off. Um, well, not really. Damn it. I just <laughs> keep forgetting that. No wonder they stuck me out here in these backwaters. I won't let that happen again. Okay, how much do I have to pay? I want to fight against Grubers. Hey. This orc is our guest, and I shelled out a lot to make sure he would stay here. If you really manage to defeat him, that will cost me even more, and you are going to pay for that. Does that mean I can't win anything here? But of course you can win something. A whole package of premium swamp weed. No, uh, is that even worth it? I'll just do it for the XP. I want to go up against Grubas. Fine, but you arrange that with him directly. <sighs> Remember, I still need the fellow. Yeah, I won't kill him. You must have... I don't even know what where do he is. Want? I haven't even found this guy yet. Is he maybe in here? Oh, that looks dismissive guard. What are you guarding here? There is no need for you to know. No? I... No. But... <clears throat> no way! Uh, yes, you'll need the package later. Okay, buy all the premium swamp that you can get. Is that mattress? There's a water mage, I can see it. I had a little sneak peek. Let's go down here. I wanna see the oasis. This is beautiful. Oh, is is that where we jump down? 
Hold on a second. I think it is, yeah. From over there on the right. Cool. I thought this was going to be like a an oasis, but this is a gulf. That's the ocean. Righty ho. Um. Man, I do have a lot of weed to teleport. Uh, nice. Good thing I checked back here. Most of the towns here seem to be smaller than they were in the Midlands. Yes, that's a waterfall. Cool. Rasul, who are you? What are you growing here? <coughs> swamp weed, stranger. Pure, fine swamp weed. Mm. Here, take a sample. Yes. I also sell packages. Oh. That stuff is in demand. So do not pass up a chance to take some with you. Anybody who is had the taste will pay a fortune for it. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a good point. I thought swamp weed grew in swamps. Yeah, everybody thinks that. But take a look around. It grows faster than I can smoke it. <laughs> the conditions are ideal. <clears throat> Lots of sun, fresh breezes. Mm. That makes the pollen unbelievably fine. I manage a harvest every couple of weeks. Wow. That is, if the blood flies or the nomads do not get into it. Blood flies. Blood flies like swamp weed? Hey, apparently the damn things know what's good. <laughs> they have already screwed up a couple of my harvests. You know quite a bit about plants. Not just that. I also know quite a bit about potions. But he's an alchemist. I used to live in Benarai. Eusebio taught me a lot. Oh, interesting. He knows Eusebio. Maybe there's something going on there. Some what do you conspiracy. know about the nomads? Those bums. <laughs> they freed the slaves and stole my harvest. I mean, sure. I can understand that, <laughs> but a couple of them trampled right through my plants. What? Bums. How dare they? Why didn't they free you? Oh, is he a slave? Free me? And who would take care of the plants if I were not here? No, I am not going anywhere. There is enough here for me to do. I didn't realize he was a slave. Maybe I should take care of the blood flies for you. Oh man, I was afraid to ask. <laughs> but you know what? I will cough up a package <clears throat> of original Lago swap weed. If you drive the beasts off. Oh nice. Hey, somebody who works for me ought to enjoy himself. Of course. <laughs> here, light up. And take your time. The beasts will not fly off by themselves. Unfortunately. Cheers, man. Everybody's giving me weed here. Do you know anything about the prisoner? Hey now. That is a really uptight question. So, what do you know? All I know is that Fabio does not want any trouble. What does that mean? That is why he does not want anybody <clears throat> blabbing about it. So, you don't know anything. Hey now, what do you think? I am the gardener here, not the torturer. Hmm. Show me your goods. He's got lockpicks and he's got those. So, Mark's been set to buy all the premium swamp weed. Oh, is that considered premium swamp weed? Because it just says swamp weed package, so I don't know. I'm gonna keep the orc slayer, sentimental reasons. Um, uh, don't need those swords. Um, yeah, I don't know if we're supposed to buy the swamp weed package. Yes, buy. Okay. Damn, they're expensive. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna start selling some stuff. We can't make a deficit here. That's the rule. Uh, solid cudgel. <laughs> Composite bow. Oh, that might actually be better than what we currently have. Hold on a sec. Uh, cool. Three swap meat package received. What am I currently rocking in terms of a bow? Bone? Bone bow. Okay, this is definitely better. Composite bow. <laughs> Didn't want to shoot you, I swear. Just checking out my bow. Okay, have we spoken to everybody now? Oh no, that's the orc. Hello, Mr. Orc, sir. We're supposed to fight. What's wrong, Mora? Robots. Uh, <clears throat> what are you doing here? The great temple trail. in Ben Sala has been raided. The artifacts were stolen. Damn. Dalek ordered me to find the artifacts. What? You think there are artifacts here in Lago? No, Mora. But there's a man here who might know something about <clears throat> them. Who would that be? Fabio has a Mora locked up. If he knows anything, he will tell us. Oh, okay. Interesting. Do you know who the prisoner is? Amora. <laughs> Do you know his name? 
So many Moras, <laughs> so many names. I can't remember them all. Have you talked to the prisoner already? Yes, but he <clears throat> said nothing. He's a tough old man. I see. You know a thing or two about fighting, don't you? Enough so that I can teach you a little, Mora. I don't think we need any teaching right now. Got 50 learning points, that's okay. Let's see if I can take him on with barely any health. Let us fight in the Is that really what you want, Mora? Yep. I paid for it. You paid for me to <laughs> knock you around? Such idiocy cannot go unpunished. Of course. Let us fight. How hard can it be? Where's he even going? He doesn't even know where he's going, so this is gonna be a piece of cake, I'm sure. I'm sure. Unless he's as strong as the other orc that we faced. Where was that in Sildan? I think in Sildan there was a randomly strong orc there. No. Oh way damn! Fight, Mora. Oh, Fuck! Oh. That didn't go well. I thought I was out of his reach. <laughs> I love it when this sound plays after I just died. It's just fitting, isn't it? Okay, let's have some more of this. Liz, you haven't played Oblivion. I think What's we talked about this already, have we? It's such a meme-worthy game. Like, everything that happens in the game seems like a meme. I have to finish it eventually. I finished the main story, um, but I... Uh, Still have to do the two DLCs, Knights of the Nine and Shivering Isles. No one beats me more. No! There's going to be a fight, man. Let him have it. Oh, I missed him. Oh, damn. Damn. Here we go. Oh, I did a charge attack, but he was out of reach. That's annoying. Oh. Sometimes some stupid blocks just. Wow. Damn! I've just never played Skyrim or Elder Scrolls. Oh, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta play those. They're really good. Well, well, well. Guess who's back? Hello, Zell. Good to see you. I'm being terrible at the game at the moment, so you jumped in at the perfect no time. Out of here, Oi. Mora. The fight is I over. haven't left the arena. I'm literally in the arena. What the fuck? Guess who's back who? <laughs> I think he's talking about himself. No, no! Damn. I wanna experiment more with the stabbing. But I keep missing my stabs. Down with the habit! Okay, finally, we're getting somewhere. Uh, no! He said, and I got hit. You showed him who is boss. I did. It wasn't that difficult. I got nothing it. to be had there. Um, yeah, but I'm probably actually not going to continue for that much longer. Um, because I gotta have dinner. It's eight thirty already. Yeah, probably should finish up relatively soon. Didn't that happen last time as well? That you just joined relatively late, Cell, and then I had to go. <laughs> Next time I'll get you, Mora. And like Rufus. Oh, Mora, you're one good fighter. That I am. What would the Hashishin say? You're a son of combat, Mora. Thank you. At least you didn't uh, call me a son of a different thing. <laughs> okay, is there anybody else we can talk to about the prisoner, maybe? Let's talk to Fabio. Maybe he knows something about the prisoner. Fabio. Cuts it. Yeah. I defeated Grubers. Oh yeah, right. Here, <clears throat> take this package of swamp weed. It is more valuable than you may think. Well, I've heard. So we've got four of them now, I think. You have a prisoner. Exactly. <laughs> I have a prisoner. And as long as I've got the key, nobody will talk to him. Hmm. Who is your prisoner? He poses a great risk. And no, I won't tell you who my prisoner is. Too many people know already. Now stop asking me about things that are none of your business. Okie dokie. Bye, Don't Fabio. Can we talk to the stone guy about the prisoner? Mamu? Here we go. Do you, do you know who the prisoner is? Who, me? Uh, uh, no, I know nothing. <laughs> Sus. Come on, I won't tell anyone. 
Hey, man, I may be smoking too much, but I am not an idiot. Not sure if that's true. Uh, what about this? Spit out the name of the prisoner or I'll beat you senseless. You can beat me up, but you can't make me tell. Are you sure? Hey, I'm an arena fighter. I already beat you. I've been beaten up so many times. Sorry, <laughs> but that's stating a fact. Oh, poor So Mamuk. you can take your wonderful threat and shove it. Wow. What do you want for the name? You know there is nothing you could... Wait a minute. Won't wait. Didn't Fabio want me to... Mm, what was that again? I don't know. Cut down on smoking? <laughs> ah, now I remember. I was supposed to take care of the lurkers on the lurkers. coast. So bring me a few lurker skins and claws. Let's say, ten of each. I can show them to Fabio, and you'll get the name. Agreed? I guess. Oh, I've got lurker trophies already. Where can I find the lurkers? On the coast. Just walk along the coast for a bit. There are plenty of those beasts there. Oh, and one more thing. Bring me all the trophies at once, or I'll forget how many you already gave me. I hope I already have ten, so let's just save here. Well, some bad translation in German, it is I have a prisoner with emphasis on the I. Ah, okay. Well, it still sort of worked. Here are your lurker trophies. <laughs> oh, here we go. Thanks, man. You got the skin what it and takes. Four. Yeah. Now, tell me what you know. What would you say if I don't even know the name? Uh... Then I would say nothing at all. I would <laughs> hurt you. Very, We're very close very to each other, badly. aren't we? Just kidding, man. The prisoner is one of the water mages. He's pretty old, mm. and his name is Vatris. So now you know. Here we See? go. That wasn't so hard. But be careful. If Fabio finds out, he'll get us both. Did we tell Fabio? Was there anybody else here? Uh, this guy. Does he know anything about a prisoner? Oh. <laughs> Don't you have anything to do? Come mind your own business. First a little smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you have anything to do? I love that he has his own voice lines. They're really good, actually. Now, can I talk to Fabio with the prisoner again? Or is that going to be a terrible idea? Let's quick save. Fabio. Curse it. What I do know you want? who your prisoner is. Really? And who do you think he is? Vatris, the water mage. Oh, great. And how do you know that? It was written on an old stone tablet. <laughs> Very funny. Get lost and make yourself useful for a change. Oh. Don't bother me. Okay. Did that even... Did we even get XP or something from that? I don't know if that is... Should we tell about Mamook? I really don't know. Probably not. That'd be just mean. Is there nothing wrong? He's just stoned. I can relate. Okay. I think that's all people in this town. So tomorrow we'll continue doing the quest in this town because I gotta go and have some dinner. We can't forget though that one of these quests has a time limit on it of three days. Obviously not three real life days, three in-game days, I assume. Um, so we're gonna continue doing the quests here and we're gonna continue doing uh, the desert tomorrow. So that should be fun, something different. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I gotta go have some dinner and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Same time, same place. I'll see you then. Have a good one. Good night. Bye.